Baseball coach Jay Bouton was on his way home from a game with his son when he was gunned down by another driver on Highway 169. And now more than a month later, police say they have found a vehicle that might belong to the gunman. And that is our top story tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hockert. Fox 9's Hannah Flood joins us live from Plymouth now with more on this developing case. Hannah? Well, Pymouth police say it was tips that led them to a vehicle that matches the description of the person who shot and killed Bowden on Highway 169 here near Rockford Road. Here's a look at some video of that vehicle. It was taken by some traffic cameras on the highway. It's that Chevy Suburban in the left lane with its blinkers and brake lights flashing. Police say they're currently processing the vehicle they have in their custody looking for evidence. Police are releasing this information tonight after they say a sealed search warrant was made public because of a clerical error. Now you'll remember the shooting happened just over a month ago on July 6th at around 10 o'clock at night. Bowden's funeral was held on Friday and at a press conference beforehand, his family thanked police for the work they've done in this investigation. The, the police department have been on this since day one. Um, we're trusting, we have complete faith that they will find and apprehend the person responsible for this. Now, police have not made any arrests in this case. And again, tonight they're only confirming that the vehicle they have in their custody matches the description of the one used in the shooting. Police say they've received more than 300 tips related to this case. There's still an $11,000 reward out there for anyone with information that leads to an arrest. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers or Plymouth Police. Live in Plymouth tonight, Hannah Flood, Fox 9. All right.